Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we'll be talk tackling a very critical subject for uh, every tech company uh, crafting a compelling value proposition. First of all thank you very much for watching this video and I'm excited to share my experience and of creating a killer value proposition that resonates in the tech landscape. Uh, before we dive into the how, let's address the challenges that often confront tech companies when crafting uh, their value proposition. One of the common challenges is uh, the tendency to drown our value proposition in technical jargons. How do we convey our innovation without overwhelming our audience with jargons and acronyms and complex language. Uh, tech solution can be intricate, right? And uh, it solves complex problems. The challenge here is to distill the um, complexity into a clear, concise messaging that resonates with a target audience. How do we make the intricate seem simple? without oversimplifying um, the solution. The third and the final challenge here is really the tech industry evolves at a lightning speed and um, staying ahead and ensuring um, the value proposition remain relevant in the uh, face of um, a constant change can be a formidable um, challenge. So how do we future-proof our value proposition? How do we craft that killer value proposition? I think it starts off with equipping ourselves with a practical framework to overcome these changes and create a killer value proposition. And the first step really here is to identify your target audience with precision. And it's not enough to just know the industry, sub-industry, the revenue range, the employer range, and the designations. You have to go a couple of steps further and understand the target audience. Who are they? What challenges are they facing? What, what's their motivation? What's their aspiration? What is their value system? Right? What are they trying to do? Right? And tailor your value proposition to speak directly to their needs. If you don't know their value system, if you don't know their uh, motivation, aspiration, then how will you uh, create a message that will talk directly to them? So the second step is really to create and convey the transformation, right? Focus on the transformation that your tech brings. How does it solve a problem? How does it improve the lives of your user? And translating the technical feature into tangible benefits that resonate emotionally is, is a step forward. And is the, is the right step in the right direction. Now, I think there are, there could be few benefits that your products are delivering. You have to identify and prioritize the key benefits of your tech solution. What sets you apart? Whether it's the efficiency or the innovation. Is it cost saving or automation? Right? And the way to do that is really look at the top three or four benefits of your system, of your product or a solution, and compare it with the pain point that you're trying to solve. Look at your competitor and find out how they are performing on those areas. Right? If your competitor is falling short in certain areas where you are a level up, and if there are certain features or benefits that fall right in your alley, then you should focus your value proposition in that area. Avoid drowning your value proposition in technical details. Keep it clear, 
concise and easily understandable imagine you are uh, explaining it to someone who is in tech savvy right recognize uh, that well proposition isn't uh, a static right the text landscape evolves and so should your message right you will see a lot of tech companies how they have evolved their messaging based on where the industry is going right and uh, continuously iterate and refine uh, based on feedback and market changes and technological advancement um that's all i have for you today i hope you find this helpful and i look forward to seeing you in the next week thank you